A lot of time has passed since I made a video on this car. Finally making an update, and because I never really went into details about what's going on with the engine or anything like that, that is kind of the purpose of this video. So it is a fully built 1.8. The only part in the engine that has not been replaced is the actual piece of aluminum that is the head and the actual piece of cast iron that is the block. Everything internally has either been upgraded to a better component or replaced with a brand new OE component. Um, but the actual head itself and the block itself are the original ones that came in the car. Obviously a lot of machine work has been done to them, but uh, in 1997, if you got a B5, that was a 1.8. You got an AEB head and an 058 block. There are pros and cons to both of them. For this case, both are perfectly fine. As a rule of thumb, for high horsepower, you want the AEB head. The ports on it are, I think they're about a half inch wider than the newer version of the 1.8. And then the block. If you're not doing a two liter stroker, the block really doesn't matter. There are some parts that you can't get for this block anymore, but it's whatever. It's still a 1.8 liter displacement. I did not throw a two liter crank in it. When you throw a two liter crank in it, that's when you run into issues, but that's not what this video is about, so moving on. While I'm already over on this side of the engine bay, I'll stay over here and talk about this shit. This cap is ordered. This gasket is ordered. I have this stuff just waiting for everything else to come to put it on, waiting for the water pump and gasket. I believe everything that I need to fully seal this up is ordered. I'll probably run into one or two things whenever I'm actually doing it, but it's all on the way. This side of the bay, JDL manifold, brand new wastegate. I just threw it on there and the turbo will be here in one or two days. As of last week, the final purchases that I needed to make were the clutch, turbo, and the standalone ECU all of which are extremely expensive and not really budget friendly at all. The car was kind of built with the intentions of running a huge turbo the whole time. If you watch my fuel system video, I have two 350 liter per hour <laughs> pumps in a surge tank back there. So the turbo that I ended up finding is gonna make less power than I had originally planned, but it's a good turbo. The kid that I'm buying it from has receipts that it was just rebuilt from Precision and he never reinstalled it. So I'm getting a brand new turbo for pretty much half of what I'd pay for a brand new one. Uh, I'm really happy about that. I can spend the money elsewhere, but basically it's a Gen 1 journal bearing Precision 5858. The downside is that it will not flow nearly as much as the turbo I was going to buy, mainly because it has a small exhaust housing on it. It's a 0.63 AR, which just less top end power, but quicker spool. But because I don't have upgraded cams in the engine anyway, there's really no reason to buy a turbo that'll need me to rev it to fucking 8,500 to make power anyway. So for right now, having a smaller turbo is perfectly fine. It's still a 58 millimeter turbo. It'll still make 500 wheel. Really not a downside <laughs> to me saving a grand by purchasing it. I never posted anything about the intercooler either. I did find a humongous front mount on Marketplace. Thank you to my buddy Connor who picked it up for me because it was like three hours away, closer to where he lived. Uh, supposedly the core was originally on a DSM. That was like 900 horsepower. <laughs> and then it was on a B5 with like a smaller turbo B5, which this is way overkill. Even for me, like if I make 500 wheel on the 5858, this is probably too much intercooler. I don't know why that other kid had it on his B5, but if you know how these cars are set up from factory, this piece goes into the frame rail and that piece goes into the frame rail. There's no bar connecting them. Somebody made this custom piece. The front mount has brackets on it and it slides right on, which is a really cool design. I've never seen one made like that for a B5. So I think that's it. Very quick update. Vince's car is in the background. I just posted a video on it if you want to see 240 shit. Uh, whenever I put the rest of the stuff on the engine, I'll make a video on that. 
these videos are mostly for myself to look back on in five years and be like, wow, what a fucking dumbass I was. And hopefully by then I'll have like a thousand wheel VR6 and I'll be like, huh, I was building a 1.8 in 2021. But all right, peace.